Welcome back to Ferris Sports Update. Time to talk Bulldog hockey. And with us is junior defenseman Simone Denis. And Simone, first of all, welcome to the show. Thanks a lot for having me, Rob. Uh, I know it's only been a, a week or so here, uh, but uh, great uh, finish to the season for the Bulldogs. Reached the WCHA Final Five for the for the second straight year. Uh, just talk about the ending to the season. Yeah, it was. You know, anytime you can get to that conference finals, it's a it's a great feeling. I mean, it's a great uh, great step in the right direction for the program. And for us to make it two years in a row, I mean, we went into the WCHA not really knowing what to expect and. Kind of knowing that, generally speaking, we were favored as one of the better teams. And, you know, to get to that final five for the second straight year was great. And it wasn't the result we wanted, obviously, against Minnesota State, but it's definitely a good stepping stone. Four years uh, here or so with the Bulldogs, and you've had a chance to play in some great buildings. Uh, talk about the Excel Energy Center. What, what was it like playing in that NHL facility? It was, it was memorable. I mean, anytime you get to play in a 20,000-seat arena, it's always great. I mean, the fans come out. It might not be as full as it is for maybe like a Minnesota Wild game like it is there, but... Just to kind of play in that facility, kind of walk around and really see the big stage, it's always great. I mean, coming from Avig Laven where it's about 2,500 people to go into a 20,000 seat arena, it's a little bit of a change, but it's, it's always fun. 7-1-1 one one on the last uh, nine games or so before the Final Five. Uh, what was the turning point uh, here for the Bulldogs in the second half of the season? I think, you know, we, uh, we really just wanted to get that home ice advantage for the playoffs. And anytime you get to play in your home building, we kind of... We wanted to do it especially for the seniors, you know, because that was we didn't really know if that uh, last regular season game was going to be the last time at home or not. And anytime you get home ice advantage, I mean, like it says, it's an advantage. And especially in our arena, you kind of have the the low or the small rank, the low ceiling, stuff like that, and the dog pound, all our community, everyone's so great about it. So we really tried to strive to push for that home ice advantage. And unfortunately, we didn't get it, but we took care of business on the road. So I know last year uh, a significant injury for you, but a chance to get back on the ice this season. What was it like uh, being back out there uh, here over the course of the season? It was great. I mean, uh, anytime you're out for any t any sort of period, or especially uh, a whole season like I was, it's, it's tough. And I mean, watching from the stands and whatnot, it's, it's nothing that you really ever want to do or ever experience, but getting back out on the ice, it was the best feeling in the world. <laughs> As you look back over over the year uh, here in the in the past week or so, uh, obviously a, a great win to open the year over Michigan. Uh, had a chance to play in the GLI at Joe Lewis, uh, the WCHA Final Five. What's What's been the highlight maybe uh, of this past season for you? Oh boy. Um, I think to be honest, I think maybe just because it's so fresh was that triple overtime win. Uh, I guess now it's only been two weeks, so. Just the fact that, I mean, we made history by it being the, the longest game in Ferris hockey history and, I mean, one of the top 15 longest in the NCAA. It's hard to believe that we played for over 100 minutes of hockey, but to, to get that victory and, I mean, seeing it on Sports Center the next day, all that, it's, I mean, it's always cool when you make little memories like that. And I think on top of that was playing at Lake State when we were able to get uh, C.J. Mott's record-breaking victory. That was, that was awesome. I mean, the kids worked so hard for four years, and he's definitely earned that and has that reputation as one of the best goalies in Ferris history. You mentioned C.J. Mott, part of that senior class uh, that a uh, few guys have already moved on to professional hockey, and I know you came in with those guys. Uh, talk about what those seniors uh, have meant to the Bulldog Hockey Program. I think they've meant a lot. I mean, uh, make, definitely making positive strides in the program's history, and I think they're going out as, if not the winningest class, the second winningest class, and I mean, that's well-deserved. I mean, to come in with those guys and be together for four years, it's, it's tough not to graduate with them, but to see how well they did and how how much pride they have and how much like, respect that they've really earned to kind of generate for this program. It's it's a great feeling just to be included in that class by any means. I mean, a Frozen Four national ta or national championship game, uh, two conference titles. I mean, the credentials themselves are there. And I mean, you have CJ Mott and now to see guys moving on to the professional ranks, it's very well deserved. We mentioned those guys, uh, CJ Mott uh, picked up his first victory on the professional mm -hmm. level uh, in the American Hockey League this past Saturday. but. Two other Bulldog seniors, Justin Buzzio, Jason Binkley, their first goals, and I know uh, you had a chance to watch uh, a few former Bulldogs play. Yeah, I actually got the opportunity to go down to uh, Toledo on Friday to watch Jason Binkley's first professional game. He was playing for uh, South Carolina in the East Coast Hockey League, and going down there, and he was playing against uh, both Scott Zarnowsen and Kyle Bonus. So it's it's cool to see like how many guys that you've played with and whatnot. And I mean, even the guys playing against, you know, other guys we've played in the college ranks. It's it's so awesome to see guys move on, especially guys like that that deserve it. And Justin Buzzio getting his first goal. And I know we all got an opportunity to see the goal, so that was great to see. And C.J. Ma picked up his first win. He was the first star of the game. So just to see those kind of things, those guys are, like I said, you know, it's very well deserved. And to see them get that, it's, it's great. I know not only have those guys had some success uh, here professionally uh, over the past week, uh, but mm -hmm. some Bulldogs over the years have had uh, all kinds of success in professional hockey. What does that do for the for the guys that are in the program, the guys coming in, and in terms of uh, helping you uh, 
work and try to achieve some of those same goals? I mean, I think it does a lot. I mean, it helps with little things, you know, recruiting, stuff like that. You see, I mean, you see Chris Kunitz, Zach Redmond, uh, Chad Billens, guys like that. It definitely, it definitely brings that uh, respect to the program that other schools may not have, some of the lower end schools per se. But, I mean, you always hear about schools like Minnesota, Michigan, North Dakota. They have a million NHL stars or whatever. But, you know, to have that at Ferris, it definitely brings pride. You know, we're so proud of all our alums, whatever they're doing, whether it's pro hockey or whether they've moved on in life, it's always great to see. And it definitely brings that respect to our program. It definitely brings pride to us as players and definitely putting on that Bulldog jersey and knowing the guys before that had that opportunity to put it on as well. You're always playing for that logo right on the, uh, right on the chest. I know a little bit of time away here, but uh, soon uh, right back to work. Uh, talk about uh, what takes place uh, from here until, until the start of next season. Yeah. Um, we get another week and a half off. It's only been a week, but, you know, we take those two and a half weeks off and we enjoy ourselves and kind of just get away from hockey for a little bit. And right after that, we get right back to work and we'll, uh, we'll do workouts all the way till the end of the school year. And guys will do summer programs. We work with Dave Sensor, our strength and conditioning coach. We work with him all summer through, uh, through Internet. Guys who are in town, we're working out with him every single day. And, I mean, the, the coaches definitely keep tabs on us all summer. They're making sure that we're all doing stuff. And guys always come in. Uh, we'll come back at the beginning of August for two days, and just like that, the season starts again. <laughs> I know uh, miss, uh, you'll be missing some uh, great seniors from this past season, but obviously a great nucleus coming back. Uh, how much mm -hmm. does this, this big finish here at the end of the year help uh, spring into next season? I think it's, it's definitely positive. Anytime you can finish the season on a winning streak, you know, obviously that last game didn't end how we wanted to, but outside of that, we were playing the best hockey that we had all year, and that's very beneficial to us, and we think... Uh, Definitely the younger guys and stuff got that experience of kind of getting on a winning streak, something that we had kind of struggled with the whole season. So it's definitely important. I mean, you see the returning group that we have. It's definitely a lot of strong players, a lot of younger guys. They're definitely going to make an impact in the next year to three years. So that's definitely positive and we're really, I mean, we're already looking forward to next season and what brings for us. I know you've already had a chance to be on a part of uh, a couple NCAA tournament teams, a couple mm -hmm. conference championships. So uh, you mentioned the Frozen Four, the national championship game. What, what's it been like to be a Bulldog hockey player here at Ferris State? It's been, uh, it's been everything I could ask for and more. I mean, it's, uh, I, I guess, unlike a lot of people, I'm fortunate enough to have a fifth year. So I'm just, I'm very happy that I'm still here. I'm very fortunate. And just to be a, a Bulldog hockey player, just, I mean, it's everything you could ask for and more just to kind of continue to bring that pride to this program and play with that pride and you have the community members the dog pound the students the whole the whole school the whole culture around here is it's great and I mean the whole athletic department in general all the sports definitely support one another and truly is fair strong you know like we have a bulldog nation around here and there's that whole 17 sports one team and you know what it's, it's easy to say it but to see it is a whole nother thing so it's really great to have that support of one another and all the athletic teams all the athletic program here it's just all it's one big group, so to be a part of Ferris Hockey is very something special. I know uh, Bulldog Hockey has always been involved in the community, and you've played a key role in a, a couple of those big uh, community service initiatives, and obviously the Pink in the Rink uh, mm -hmm. game last year, the Military Appreciation Night. Talk mm -hmm. about what uh, being involved in those, those causes means uh, for Bulldog Hockey. It's great. You know, it's, uh, it's something that I have the opportunity to, uh, to do in the summers through John Coles, and that was something I really wanted to bring with me to the Ferris program, playing junior hockey and stuff. You always have charity games or stuff like that. So we had ones back when I played in juniors for Breast Cancer, uh, United Way, um, Girl Scouts, all sorts of different things. So to kind of get that opportunity to bring it here, I really wanted to do something with it. And I had the chance through John Coles to kind of take uh, take part in that. And I was able to bring up the ideas. And fortunate enough, Yo Play was generous enough to sponsor that event. And I mean, it's been two great years so far and we got something in the works next year. So. Should well, be fun. Well, Simone, uh, congratulations again on all the success uh, that you've had and the Bulldogs have had this past season, and best of luck as you get ready for next season. Thanks a lot, Rob. We'll be back with more Ferris Sports Update right after this.